Hi students, welcome to the Open School. Today we are going to prepare for the IB and A-level physics exam. So I selected an exercise uh, which is inspired from past papers and that involves two topics, simple harmonic motion and energy production. Those topics are part of your courses, whether you're in the IB or the A-levels. So this uh, video is suited for both. So, without any delay, let's get started. One way of collecting energy from the ocean is to extract energy from the waves at the surface. The principle consists in setting up a floating buoy in a vertical tube as shown in the diagram. The buoy is held by a cable connected to a generator lying on the seabed. When the wave pushes the buoy up, the generator produces electricity. When the buoy moves downwards, no power is produced. The wave being considered as a sinusoid, the motion of the buoy is simple harmonic. So first question, define the conditions for a motion to be simple harmonic, two marks. Right, so what you can do is you can just pause the video, figure it out by yourself and come back. So let me put the question on. Yeah, yeah, voilà. Right, so what is a simple harmonic motion? Well, it's a motion defines by, defined by two characteristics. The acceleration is proportional to the displacement. And the acceleration is directed towards the equilibrium point. You can also say that the acceleration is of opposite sign to the displacement. These are the two marks. Let me explain. Imagine you have a spring. It's at rest. So this position is the equilibrium position. We would say the displacement is zero. Let's consider an axis, this direction positive. Suppose now that I pull the spring. So now my displacement, you see, will be a positive value. But the spring will feel a return force if I release it. So when I release it, there will be a force that way. Therefore, the acceleration will be that way. You see, the acceleration will be negative, even if the displacement is positive. And the acceleration, you see, is directed towards the equilibrium position. Let's check what happens if I compress the spring. If I push on the spring, and then I release it. Now you see the displacement now is on the negative side, while the acceleration is this way. Yeah, the spring starts accelerating that way. So the acceleration is positive and the displacement is negative. You see opposite signs. And the acceleration is always directed towards equilibrium position. This is expressed in the express in the uh, equation that represents uh, a simple harmonic motion, which is that the acceleration is equal to minus omega squared the displacement, where omega is the angular velocity, or sometimes called pulsation. Omega in simple harmonic motion is a constant. So you see that A is proportional to X, and because of the minus sign in front, A is always of opposite sign to X. No problem? Okay. Next question. The wave has an amplitude of 4 meters and a wavelength of 15 meters. Its speed is 3 meters per second. Determine the maximum speed of the buoy. Okay. So let's note this in front. We have the amplitude of the wave is 4 meters. So the buoy is going to go up and down with the wave. Right? So the maximum displacement for the buoy will correspond to the amplitude of the wave. The velocity of the wave is 3 meters per second. And the wavelength is 15 meters. Good. So we are interested in uh, knowing the maximum velocity 
of the buoy. So it's a simple opening motion. So we could describe the motion of the buoy with this equation. That's the amplitude. That's the motion of the buoy, or the position of the buoy, or the displacement of the buoy at a given time. And this is the angular velocity. This is typical of a simple harmonic motion. You can also put sine here. If you want. But we're interested in velocity, right? So what is velocity? Well, velocity is the variation of position with time. So we can differentiate this. We get minus x0 omega sine omega t. Remember your math, right? When you differentiate cos, you get a minus sine. And if you have something inside, it goes outside, yeah? Right, but what we're interested in actually is a maximum velocity, maybe max. When does this happen? Well, when the sine is one, right? So we've got V max equals minus X zero omega. We're interested in the speed actually, not the velocity. So we're just interested in the absolute value. Here we go. We know X zero. But we don't know omega. X0 is 4. But what is omega? Well, if you remember well, circular motion, waves, and simple harmonic motion, they're all cyclic motions, right? So you've got omega equals 2 pi over t, also equal to 2 pi f. I know it's in your formula booklets, but please remember this one. It's very useful. Now I can put this in here. Pi two pi f. What is f? Well, we don't have f, but we do have v in lambda. So with a wave equation, I could find f. V equals f lambda. So you have f equals v over lambda, which is fifteen over no v is three. Excuse me, three divided by fifteen, so point two hertz. I can plug in the numbers now. I get 4 times 2 pi by 2.2. That is 1.6 pi. So let's quickly calculate this. 1.6 by pi, 5.03. So V max equals 5.03 meters per second. Okay, how many significant figures do we need? Uh, 4.0, 15, 3.0, 2. So we have to round it. V max equals 5.0 meters per second. That was a three mark question. So I would estimate that um, this would give you a mark, this would give you a mark, and the number would give you a mark. Right, third question. Sketch the output power of the generator versus time. Write down the scale for the time axis only. Two marks. Okay. So let's erase the board. And I will also put the question map here. And draw the axis. So we have time here. And in seconds, I placed it and power output. Boom, that's not very flat, it's not very straight. Parallax effect. Better, yeah, kind of. The time. Right, so let's look at our buoy again. As you can see, when it goes up and down and up, so we, we, de we do have this angle cyclic motion. But in the text, remember that there's only power generated when it's going up. And you can imagine that the power generated will depend on the velocity, right? The faster it goes up, more energy is provided per unit time. So what will be the velocity at the beginning? The velocity will actually be slow, you know, it's where zero when it's at a minimum position in a simple harmonic motion, then it starts accelerating, so it increases, 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 goes to a maximum when it's halfway, 
right? And then the, the acceleration goes back towards the equilibrium position, so the velocity slows down, but becomes smaller and smaller, and becomes zero when you arrive at the maximum position, at the, the amplitude, right? So it actually follows a sine curve. So the power would also do the same. But here you did one half of the cycle. What about the other half? Well, now the buoy is going down, but we saw that nothing would be generated, no power would be generated if the buoy goes down. So we would have nothing. And that would be one period. And then we can have another cycle, and again a period. So they ask us to scale up, to, to put some uh, numbers there, right? So what would be the period? Well, it's just 1 over the frequency. Oh, it's just too high. Yeah, 1 over the frequency, which is 1 over 0 0.2, so 5 seconds. So it would be 5 seconds, 10 seconds. That's how the power output would look like. Good. That concludes this exercise. I'm preparing actually right now a, a new one, which is still about of power production. So I encourage you to check it out. I'm going to post it very soon, probably to today or tomorrow, or maybe next the day after tomorrow. And uh, so if you enjoyed it, and if you think this kind of uh, training is useful, don't hesitate to follow me if you uh, are looking at uh, this video on Steemit, DLive, or DTube, or to subscribe to Physics Made Easy if you're watching it on YouTube. If you have any questions, there's a comment section, so don't hesitate. See you.